part two event. So we're practicing part two answers and we're thinking about events in our past, events that we've been a part of, or if you can't think of any, <laughs> events that you can imagine. Remember, when you're talking about an event, think of those three things. Who is involved? What is the purpose? And what activities happened? So I'm going to answer these three parts, and that will help me talk about the event. Describe a sporting event that you attended. I can remember a sporting event. I can remember a, a, a hockey game. It was a hockey, an ice hockey game between the Tigers and the Chiefs. And they were, it was a, just a regular season game. And uh, people were having a lot of fun. There were, obviously the players were there, the coaches. But then all the spectators and the media um, a, a huge, huge crowd, so many people yelling and screaming. Ah. The result of that, uh, what ended up happening in the game, it was, a, it was not a very close game. It was 5-0. to zero. The Chiefs won 5-0. to zero. They killed the Tigers. And so people left early, and they, they, uh, they were so excited at the beginning, but then it was, it was pretty boring at the end. Everybody was leaving early. And so, but it was still fun. I'll probably, I'll probably go to another hockey game at some point. Okay, so what did I, who was involved? So who was involved? We have the teams. We have the Chiefs and the Tigers. And then you have the, the players on those teams, the coaches, the spectators, the, uh, the media. So a lot of people I talk, I really answered that. So that helped me to talk about the sporting event. The purpose, that was a little more difficult. The purpose, that's when I kind of paused. I was thinking, what is the purpose? To play a game, right? To play a hockey game? To win and lose, right? Well, to win, but to, only one team can win. The activities, I, I thought about the activities where the, everybody was, was leaving early because it was a bad game. I talked about the results of the game, the score. So I really answered who's involved in the activities. The purpose, I didn't have much to say about that because the purpose is so obvious. They're just playing a game. Remember, these are not questions you will be uh, asked by the examiner. He won't say, well, who's involved? What's the purpose and what activities? Did they have? This is just to help you. This is me giving you a guideline for you to think about events, any event. Because in part two, you will likely get an event, a person, or something like that. A thing, an, you know, an object. So this question was just about an event. Next, we're going to practice a person. A part two question with a person. And we'll go over the questions involved there. The, the, it's to help you, guide you, and help you think about how to give a good answer.